This is BBC World News. I'm Babita Sharma. Our top stories. The UK and the EU press on with post-Brexit trade talks, but both sides say they're getting ready for a no deal. It's looking, you know, very, very likely, but I've no doubt that this country can get ready and, uh, as I say, come out on world trade terms. Positions remain apart on fundamental issues. One way or the other, in less than three weeks, it will be new beginnings for old friends. Well, Sunday is the deadline for an agreement. We'll take a look at how likely that is and what could happen if there's a no deal. Also ahead. Europe raises its target to cut greenhouse gas emissions, saying it now wants a 55% reduction by the end of the decade. The Hong Kong pro-democracy activist Jimmy Lai is charged under the territory's new national security laws. His supporters say he's being targeted for criticising Beijing. And we'll have the very latest on the world's coronavirus vaccine programmes, including how scientists are looking into whether mixing vaccines could make them more effective. Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. The European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has told EU leaders that a trade deal with the UK before Sunday's deadline is unlikely, describing the talks as difficult. Her comments come after the British Prime Minister urged businesses to prepare for a no-deal Brexit when the transition period ends at the end of the month. Here's our political correspondent, Ian Watson. EU leaders met in Brussels today while negotiations with the UK.